th this movie will be many, many people's favorite movie in the world forever. It's the most wow. unusual movie that I've ever seen or been involved with. And uh, it's just this gorgeous, hysterical, you know, movie about this family that after five minutes you think you're watching people that you know rather than these creatures that you don't. Oh. 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 We have a love for Bigfoot, and, and we always wonder, like, what is... Most of the footage that you see from Bigfoot, or Bigfoot encounters, is just a shadow walking in the woods, where you're wondering what else these creatures do when no one's looking. And so we decided to make a movie where it's from their point of view, and totally within their world, and there are no humans, and it's all about, like, their relationships between each other, and their struggle to survive in the, in the wild, and just... Um, you know all the emotions that you that you feel with a family drama. I mean, I was hooked five pages into the script when I saw the lookbook. I I felt like I understood the tone. I knew what they were going for, and I just was hoping and praying that I would, you know, get be, be selected. It's the most beautiful and ridiculous film at the, the same time. I used to love. Um, practical prosthetics and practical special yes. effects on real actors when it was a regular thing in the 90s and 80s. And CGI and digital has kind of done away with that because it's so much easier to just paint, paint someone afterward. I, I always love that stuff and I love being a part of a film that harkens back to that and actually embraces and celebrates you know, the, the real artistry that comes with you know, making, making these creatures. Oh, I mean, the movie is as amazing as the costume was excruciating. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like the greatest movie in the world and the most excruciating thing I've ever worn. Sometimes it was helpful because, like, you put these fake teeth in and suddenly you feel, like, inept in a way that would make, like, was in accordance with what the character was able to do. They speak in their Sasquatch, you know, grunt language. And, um, and uh, you know, and it was our job just to, to uh, make the story, you know, uh, uh, coherent in spite of no dialogue. <laughs> yeah, that, the score was uh, was a huge part in helping to tell this story uh, more more than more than normal in their work. I think. Yeah. And I love the fact that the Octopus Project is involved in this. Like that is so amazing. Tell me a little bit of how all that worked. I mean, we've been working with them for our most of our films. I think we've been good friends with them, and and they we have like a really good working relationship with um, them as composers and you know just fans of them and as as band. And I'm happy that they're like you know, Austinites just like us, and, and uh, yeah, they really added such an, another level to this film with their uh, beautiful music and just how, like, you know, the score becomes a, you know, part of the narration, part of the dialogue, and it's, you know, it helps really make the world seem big and epic. I love the Paramount uh, so much. Uh, growing up, I came here a million times watching rep screenings. Of, I had so many formative experiences here with films, and uh, so it's uh, such, a, such a treat to get to come back and show our own films here. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. And for more videos like this, check out our We Are Austin playlist.